Hi guys, welcome back for another video from Gadget Show Tech about the LED light display that stops working on the RTX 4060. So I bought this in November 2024 and the gigabyte light here used to slowly change colour and then about three months later it stopped and then power that on and then power on the PC no nothing I've tried a few things of um, they talk about reflashing it so when I did run the flash software again, and as soon as I started the flash software, this came on for a split second and then went off again. I have had it also come on once at boot and then went off again within a second. It was just so quick. So it blinked on and off, you know. I've checked the BIOS, doesn't seem to have any BIOS settings. So it's really strange that it's just not staying on. So I've written the Gigabyte and they don't give any really troubleshooting errors apart from reinstalling the software. So I've replied to them saying, well, it doesn't even come on at boot. You know, software shouldn't be affecting it at that stage. We've got to find a fix for this if unplugging it and putting it back in doesn't fix it. Because I've seen a lot of people on, um, on, on, on the internet, you know, writing about they're having problems for example on reddit oh i'm also having the same problem i'm having the same problem and and all this type of stuff and now some of the people it seems to be a couple of different versions like there's an aurus one where this is gigabyte and some people saying i'll use the aurus software well i've used that the software with aurus shows the the lights around the edges of the fans i haven't got the one that lights up on the on the fans they don't light up it's just this so i'm gonna unclip this now to unclip this there's a little uh, button next to the pci slot which you press in and then pull it out and it's not particularly easy so there is a little button there that you press in and then it helps you release the card it is a little bit difficult but you have to keep pressing firmly Okay, I've taken it out and repositioned it. Just slotted it back in. I checked that the connectors were clean. They're clean. I gave them a little quick brush over. The graphics and games are working. The monitor's working. It's just the LED. So I've shut down the PC. And I'm going to remove the main power lead. Which is the big one down here. It looks like a the old fashioned kettle leads or whatever they used to call them. I'm taking that out, oh, I'll also switch it off. So before we take it out, you need to unplug it in the HDMI. And I've also got this display lead. To get the display lead out, you'll find you need to press, there's a little lever underneath here. You need to squeeze it together and then it will come out. Then I need to undo these screws. Right, get these out. One. I've taken two out. That seems to be it. Right, so I'm just taking the graphics card out. Taking the lead power lead off. It's actually looking really clean. I've had this eight months, maybe a little bit more, but there's no dust on it. It's uh, quite incredible. Yeah, my computers used to get pretty dusty. But either way, yeah, this is clean as hell. It's really cool. Unfortunately, all because of this light that doesn't come on anymore. And that's it. I don't know, shut up, bother. But you know, it's part, it's basically part of its feature. And what if I sell it on in the future? 
you know, it might be something they've heard about and they want. So to send it off, uh, I need to put this back on to protect the edge. That's what it came with. You know, it sits in there. So that's the graphics card. Being packaged. I don't think there's anything else I need to put in there. I've got the order number. I haven't got an IMA number. I haven't seen one in the email and I think it says put the order number, so that's it.